beautiful morning out there. Nice kind of uh, sun rising over Nissan Stadium. That's right. Yeah, we're, we've been scanning the skies, getting all the different angles of this morning's sunrise. Fortunately, we have a clear sky this morning. We're going to see some more clouds roll in later this afternoon. Uh, so we'll probably end the day partly cloudy, but uh, temperatures, they're going to be back in the mid 80s. It's going to feel a little bit more like uh, late summer, like we've been speaking about all weekend. But here's that beautiful shot. Looking over Nissan Stadium this morning and the Cumberland River, our Acme Feed and Seed camera checking in 57 degrees right now in downtown Nashville. So a good start to your morning. Same goes for Lebanon as well. Checking in 54 degrees there in Lebanon, Tennessee on the square. Things all quiet this morning, but it's going to be a great day if you have outdoor activities planned. The weather will cooperate once again up to 75 degrees by 11 a.m. A little bit chilly when you start your morning, but it's going to warm up pretty rapidly. We'll be in the mid 80s after lunch. Satellite and radar, there's clear skies, no cloud cover or precipitation to talk about this morning. Cloud cover back to the west, a system we're tracking over Arkansas, uh, providing them with some very heavy rain, not really any severe weather, but some intense rain and lightning there. That system is going to miss us to the south and the west, but it is part of an upper level disturbance that will move through tomorrow and bring us about a 20, maybe 30% chance at best of some precipitation. Temperatures this morning in the mid 40s on the plateau, Cookville 45, McMinnville 46, 55, in uh, Dixon and 51 this morning, a nice start in Bowling Green. We're still tracking uh, post tropical depression. Ophelia that is moving up the East Coast this morning. Wind not really a factor any longer. Intensity has been weakening all overnight and all morning since it's made landfall winds of 25 miles per hour. It's really the flooding that we're watching as they could uh, receive uh, some torrential rainfall in places like Northern Virginia all the way up the East Coast into New Jersey. So we're going to continue watching that. Here's real sky. So we'll start out with high clouds the first half of the day around 80 81 degrees or so by lunch. And then notice uh, the models will start to throw in some more clouds after the lunch hour. That is because of that system back to the west that we're watching. We won't get rain out of it, but uh, more of a cloudy sky and potentially slightly cooler temperatures than yesterday. We hit 87 officially yesterday. I'm thinking 85 or 86 today because of the cloud cover. Titans versus the Browns later this morning, noon kickoff, 70 degrees with a mostly cloudy skies up in Cleveland, Ohio. Winds out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. The seven day forecast cooler tomorrow, 20% chance of showers, 85 on Tuesday, about a 30% chance of rain. Really the best chance for widespread rain is going to come Wednesday with an upper level system that uh, will bring about a 40% chance of showers, some slightly cooler temperatures, Maybe a little bit of leftover rain early Thursday morning, but we dry out. Uh, it's looking like we're going to have a really nice weekend in store. Dry conditions, slightly above average temperatures. At least when it's warm, Jennifer, this time of year, you don't really get the humidity. So it's not as bad as 86 degrees in the middle of August. 